beautiful snowy day if you're not the one who has to shovel. Yeah. But we can't stress this enough. Every year, thousands of snow shoveling injuries occur right here in the U.S. And it turns out there really is a right way and a wrong way to shovel snow. And joining us right now is an expert, Dr. Kenneth Robinson, chair of emergency medicine with Hartford Hospital. Doctor, we appreciate you being with us. Good evening, thanks for having me. So first off, uh, there are a number of injuries that occur related to shoveling. What typically do you see when people come in to see a doctor after a snowstorm? There's really three categories, hand injuries, back injuries, and um, respiratory or cardiac injuries like a heart attack. And occasionally we have falls as well where people try to clear their roof and either fall through the roof when, uh, in one of the storms that we had a really a lot of snow, the roof got weakened and they fell through the roof, but oftentimes people fall off a ladder or slide off the roof. You almost wonder, doctor, people seem to approach it like, ah, it's just snow, it's no big deal, look how light it is, it, we're not gonna get hurt, but people really can get seriously injured. That's right, and today's snow, I cleared it earlier and it was deceiving. I thought it was gonna be light and it was heavy. And so what we suggest is that you push the snow to the side and then lift with your legs. If you have respiratory problems or heart problems or back problems, you really shouldn't be uh, shoveling. If you really have to shovel, then just take like a half a shovel full of snow. But people with uh, heart disease and lung disease should really be checking with their doctor first before they go out to shovel snow because usually you don't warm up and that could be uh, more exertion than they're expecting. That is some really good advice right there. What other types of dangers do we need to be aware of if you're out in the snow over the next few days? Snow, snow, uh, snow blower injuries are um, really a shame. And I'd just like to remind people not to wear any loose clothing when you're operating a snow blower because we've seen people get their clothing caught and then it pulls up a piece of your body into the auger. Um, if the machine jams, do not unclog it with your foot or your hand. Even if you've turned it off and um, disconnected the uh, spark plug, the auger is still under load. So as you are release the load, it may move a quarter of a turn and that's enough to cause a devastating hand injury. Most of the ma machines nowadays come with some sort of stick to unclog it with or use a broom handle, but don't put your hand or your foot anywhere near a snowblower. Doctor, lastly, do you tend to see more injuries at the beginning of the season? Perhaps people, you know, go out there and almost forget how to do all this. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, Dr. Kenneth Robinson, thank you very much. By the way, a good tip maybe to just pay a neighbor 20 bucks, find a kid on the street or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, doctor, for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.